Hey everyone, Charlene Ortiz here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video, um, you know, again, just updating you guys on how I've been doing. Um, the past few days, I've been really sick and just not digesting food, just really sick to my stomach, just throwing up, you know, um, and my food just, a lot of the food that I'm eating just going right through me. So. I haven't been able to work out for like, I don't know, five or six days now. And it can get really frustrating and discouraging because um, I'll start exercising and I'll be able to do it, you know, like several days in a row and then I'll get sick and I can't do it um, again for several more days and it's really, really frustrating. Um, so I, I'm hoping that you know all of these issues that I'm having with my digestion I'm hoping that's going to improve over time um, I do know that last year before the surgery I had in November um, as I mentioned in my last video I did develop an incredible amount of uh, strength and I got a lot of my um, my stamina and, and my strength back and when I started exercising um, there's like when I first start exercising, there's like an initial hump that I have to get over that will take, takes me like about a month where, um, after my workouts, I'm in incredible pain during my workouts. I'm in incredible pain. I'm exhausted. I'm really trying to push through that exhaustion and it really, really sucks. And then I'll finally hit a point where my body's stamina and strength has um, developed enough where the workouts are now getting easier. The soreness isn't as bad. And I feel like um, I'm getting past that hump, that I'm getting better, I'm getting stronger, I am improving because last year when I was committed, finally started com committed myself to exercising regularly, um, I'm sorry guys, I know this is a little crooked because the way I kind of have it set up on my on my bike right now, it's a, little, it's a little bit better I guess, but anyway, um, my recovery just skyrocketed after I started exercising and just really staying committed to it where I was doing it, you know, four or five days a week. Um, and eventually, you know, um, six days a week, cause that's what I used to do. Um, sometimes seven days a week, I wouldn't even skip a day, even though it's recommended and I recommend it to my clients, but, um, I just feel like I, I need that release, you know, I need to feel those, um, endorphins, you know, and you can get addicted to it. Um, and that is something that can become a problem. But I, I would like to do a video on that um, in the near future on exercise addiction. It is a real thing and it can be just as destructive as any other addiction. It can destroy your health and your body like any other addiction. But I would like to do a video on that because um, it really does exist. I used to struggle with that. But anyway, um, so um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm feeling better. Um, yesterday, I, I was definitely feeling better. Um, I, I did throw up last night. Um, I'm sorry if this is TMI for you guys, but this is just what I'm going through. And when it's digestive issues, it's never, you know, it's always going to be gross, you know. But it's my reality right now um, that I'm, I'm sharing with you guys, and it's just what I'm, what I'm going through. Um, and, you know, just the, the different challenges, you know, that I have to deal with regularly. And my goal is to inspire you guys to push through whatever obstacles and challenges you have to get your body healthier and stronger. Because it is hard when you have chronic pain and chronic illness. Um, it is a lot harder for people like us, a lot. But I want people that have those types of challenges and obstacles, limitations, um, to feel motivated and inspired. Um, by watching me push through the pain and push through um, my limitations and my challenges, which are really significant right now. So I'm on my bike right now. Um, that's why the background is different. <laughs> it's a little nicer, I guess. But anyway, um, I'm on my bicycle right now, and I'm going to try to do my bike workout and do my weight workout as well. So, um, and then, you know, take a shower afterwards. But, um, so I will uh, update you guys on how I'm feeling later after my workout. Um, right now, I don't feel well. I feel exhausted. I still feel sick to my stomach. Uh, not as bad, you know, but I still feel kind of nauseous and my stomach is still cramping a little. But again, it's not as bad as it was. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this right now. So, all right. So let me get to it um, and I'll check in with you guys after my workout to let you know how I'm feeling. Bye-bye. 
Hey guys, um, so I just finished my cardio. Um, I did my spin bike um, for an hour and 50 minutes. Yes, it's a long cardio session, um, but before I got sick, I was running like 12 miles, 10 to 12 miles a day. Well, uh, actually, I most of the time it was 12 miles. Um, sometimes I would only do 10 if I was, wasn't having a great day, but for the most part, I was doing 12 miles a day. Um, and I don't know, I've just always been like that. Uh, of course, this I, th I wasn't doing an hour and 50 minutes when I started working out. Um, back in June, I think it was June when I started doing it more consistently. Um, but I started doing my spin bike for like, I think 10, and then actually, you know what? I didn't even start, I didn't even use my spin bike. I had one of those little like bicycle peddlers that you put on the floor. And I started off with a 10 minutes and I did my uh, tubing and I only did two exercise, two exercises in the very beginning. I just did a, a, like a, my row movements and I did like a chest, a chest movement and then, or a chest press um, exercise. And I did the, the, my, the little floor bicycle peddler for 10 minutes. And that's where I started um, after my surgery. Well, actually it was, um, let's see, um, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, that was six or seven months after my surgery that I started doing that. And again, I can't remember if it was May or June when I, I started being more consistent. Um, I did I, I did start exercising before that, but it was very, very inconsistent. I would do it, you know, one day and there would be a couple of weeks before I would do it again. So I don't really count that. I mean, obviously anything you do is gonna be a benefit, you know, no matter what it is or even how inconsistent it is, um, it's gonna have some benefit, but if you want to see results or really, you know, get stronger, um, you want your recovery to be faster and better, you have to be committed to it, you know, um, where you only go, you know, maybe a few days without exercising, but for the most part, you're exercising on a daily basis, um, taking a, you know, a day or two off um, to rest. So um, I'm going to do my weights now, um, or my, my resistance training. I'm going to be using my total gym which I've mentioned in the past. I absolutely love my Total Gym. I have the Total Gym Fit. And I know I've said it a million times, but I'm gonna say it again because I love to brag about it. It is a $1,500 machine that I got in brand new condition for $200 from somebody that bought it and used it twice. And um, the person we bought it from lived in a big, beautiful home, had nice fancy cars in the front. So I think they just felt like, I don't really care if I lose money on it. I just want it out of my garage. And if I got a couple hundred bucks for it, I'll be happy. And they were actually asking for 250 and I offered 200 and he took it. So he just wanted it out of his garage. And um, again, you know, the guy obviously was didn't look like someone who was hurting for money. I think he just felt like, oh, if I make a couple hundred bucks, you know, to go take my wife to a nice dinner, <laughs> I'll be happy. So anyway, it was a win-win, I guess, um, you could say for both of us, but I absolutely love it. I will say, um, for those of you that have ever thought about a total gym, was considering getting a total gym, setting it up is not easy. And switching from one exercise to the next is also not easy. Um, they make it look very fluid in the, the infomercial, but it's, it's not, it's not. Um, when you, when you've done it several times, you, it gets easier and you get better. But if you are somebody who is where I was at when I first started recovering from major surgery, um, and you know, very weak and not, you know, um, and just, you know, um, getting started, um, have somebody help you do it. Don't set it up by yourself. If you do have one, uh, or, or, or if you are thinking of getting one, you know, and um, me, um, I guess promoting it, you know, saying that um, um, I really like it and I, it, it really helped me get back into shape. It really did. Because uh, you can add weights to it as well. But it did. It helped me um, get, get, um, it, get incredible results before I um, went into my last surgery. Um, so, but yeah, I love it. It's an, it's an awesome machine. 
And so, but yeah, if you are gonna get one, have somebody help you set it up until you get stronger and you can do it on your own because you can easily get hurt. And I'm surprised, I wonder if they've had um, a lot of lawsuits against them or I don't know. I, don't, I wonder if people have gotten hurt. I've never researched it, but I just, I just curious if people have. So, all right guys, I'm gonna rest for a little bit um, and then I'm gonna do my weights and um, I will check in with you after that. All right, bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Um, well, it's actually the next day um, from my workout that I did yesterday. I did end up doing my full workout. Um, I did my cardio, and I did my resistance on the total gym. And um, surprisingly, I actually went up in my weights by like 20 pounds for almost every exercise that I did, which is a lot. I was uh, expecting that I would be weaker because I've been sick and I haven't been able to um, work out for like five or six days. So, I mean, which, I mean, it's not that long, but for someone like me, it is because I do lose strength very quickly. And when I'm sick, it's, I'm usually vomiting, not digesting food. Um, so it's not like I'm, I have, I'm taking in a lot of calories you know, for me to be able to build muscle and get stronger. So that's why I was surprised that I went up in strength. So um, I was I was really encouraged by that. And um, I, at some point I'll show you guys my little setup. Um, but right now um, I have my spinning bike here in the trailer and I have my total gym. And I've always been able to work out in really small spaces. I know a lot of times people use excuses all kinds of excuses uh, not to exercise. One of them is that they don't have room in their house. You don't need room. You, you only need a very, very small space to exercise. Um, um, a video that I did years ago when I was still living on the horse ranch, um, it was a short video. If I remember, I'll try to leave the link below. It's a short video. It basically, I'm just showing you guys my setup for my workout. And um, you'll see that it's a very small space, very small space. So you can absolutely get a great workout, build your strength and your stamina in a very small space. And you don't even need equipment. You don't need anything. Um, but that's one of the goals of my channel is to show you that there's a lot you can do without needing a lot of space. Um, as I've demonstrated also in past videos I've done, um, if you look at my, my, the videos I did when I first started my channel, it's all exercise and fitness. That's all it is. Um, and I, I do want to be able to get back to that. With that, That's the majority of what my channel is about. Um, but, yeah, so as far as um, how I'm feeling today, I definitely feel very sore. Um, really sore. And it's, it's very, it is very painful. Um, the soreness that I feel, it, it is pretty painful. Um, so, it, it's something that I just, again, I just have to deal with it. I just have to, you know, push through it. I am going to try to do some cardio today. We'll see how I feel a little bit later after I rest a little bit. Um, I've been up for a few hours. I got up around 7.30, so I've been up for a little while. Um, so it takes me a while for my body to warm up and get going. And I'm just now drinking my coffee, too. So, um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm going to try and um, see if I can do cardio today. And I'll see how that feels, but... You know, guys, I just, you, one reason that I want to document this is because um, I know that a lot of times it's very, very hard to stay committed to an exercise program. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of trying to adjust this. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm coming from my ghetto trailer. <laughs> it is ghetto, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, nothing I can do about right now. But anyway, um, I really want to... Um, I, I want people to see that no matter what obstacles you're going through, what limitations that you're facing, that you can get in shape, you can get strong, you can get fit. Um, obviously, you guys know, um, at least those of you that have been following me for at least a couple years, you know what it's been like for me the past two and a half years. Um, it's been very challenging. And I had um, chronic illnesses before this started. I had um, a still... <laughs> have fibromyalgia and I have um, back pain from a permanent injury from uh, four car accidents that I've been in 
none of which were my fault, by the way. And um, I had my a, a hip a hip injury from when I got hit. I was walking as a pedestrian. I was walking uh, through the crosswalk, um, and this woman was turning right, and she was like looking this way, and I was walking the crosswalk, you know, like across this way. That this was the, how the light was going, and she wasn't paying attention, and she went to turn right, and she hit me. Um, and I was I had the crosswalk, like it was green. It had the walk symbol, you know, so. She was in the wrong, but uh, she took off. It was a hit and run, and um, it damaged my hip pretty bad. So, um, you know, unfortunately, I never got any type of um, money or anything for that, you know, because she took off, you know. So, anyway, um, um, so, you know, before my surgery, I already had a lot of challenges that I had to work through, and now it's even more so. And my fibromyalgia is worse because of the stress that my body has gone through with these surgeries, my fibromyalgia has definitely gotten worse, significantly worse, noticeably worse. And so um, that's another thing I have to deal with. So, you know, again, um, a lot of people have obstacles and challenges that they have to face um, when they are trying to get into shape. It's funny, I was watching uh, Mr. Snowflake um, yesterday while I was w working out and he was doing a, some vi a video series on a guy uh, I guess his name was AJ uh, What was the name of his channel calorie deficit? I think it was calorie deficit was the name of his channel and um, I guess he had contacted mr. Snowflake and he wanted mr. Snowflake to document his journey what he was doing whatever well, anyway, th that ended up the guy turned out to be another Amber Lynn, you know uh, making a lot of excuses um, you know, just having a lot of reasons why he couldn't exercise, didn't make any progress. And I guess he hasn't uh, uploaded in a really, in a while. So, I, or abandoned his channel. I don't know. I, I've never gone to his channel or checked it out and I never would, you know, why would I? But anyway, uh, my point is that, um, you know, like people like Amber Lynn, Foodie Beauty, um, you know, uh, Calorie Deficit, Charlie Gold, um, you know, they, they make you know they they they're full of excuses when it comes to their health and fitness and why they haven't made progress honestly I haven't really followed Charlie Gold for a while so I don't know if she's made any progress um, I haven't watched her um, I never followed her on Instagram or any of those uh, other platforms so I don't know if she's uploaded so if she is making progress that's great um, but but either way you know um, when I was following her she wasn't making any progress and she was very much a hypocrite but if she is making progress now, that's fantastic. But either way, my point is that, you know, you watch a lot of these channels um, with these low cows on it, and they, you know, and they um, are full of excuses for why they can't reach their health and fitness goals. When, <clears throat> you know, I have to push through a lot of chronic illness and pain, none of which I've inflicted on myself. And um, now, you know, dealing with these issues from having three major surgeries, in, a, in an 18 month time period, I had three major surgeries between July 2021 and um, November 2022. I had three major surgeries. So that's like, uh, that's less than a year and a half, actually. Um, that would be what? A year and, see, July, August, September, October, November. I guess a year and four months because my surgery, my last, my last surgery was November 1st. So I guess a year and four months, I had three major surgeries. Um, and you know the recovery from that has been um, very challenging but I don't make excuses you know for why I can't get back in shape why I can't get strong again and people you know and if I did want to make excuses people would probably you know cut me a lot of slack and say hey if I'd been through that I probably wouldn't, wouldn't want to you know start exercising either I don't know if I'd be able to motivate myself to do it but um, either way you know it's some either you want it or you don't um, either you're going to make the effort or you're not and a lot of people will ask me. Oh Charlene What's your secret? What's your secret to staying in shape and staying committed? You know what what have you and I tell them there there is no secret You know when you see a girl at the grocery store and she has a really amazing fit body There's no secret. There's nothing that she's done any different than what you would need to do to do the same thing 
Uh, I think a lot of times people will look at somebody who's in really great shape and think, well, yeah, it's easy for them. Um, but these people didn't wake up that way one day. That is years and years of discipline and sacrifice and hard work. Getting up earlier than everybody else. A lot of these young girls that do sports, you know, in high school and college, they get up at the crack of dawn before everybody else does and go out to do their workout or their training or whatever it is they have to do so that they can perform their sport or whatever whatever <clears throat> athletic team they're a part of. Um, these these people have to, these, these girls, well, men and women, <clears throat> um, boys and girls, have to, um, you know, get, they get up earlier than everybody else. You know, they, they go to practice after school. They, they are committing time and energy, you know, to their sport, to what they're doing. And they're making sacrifices that other people aren't willing to make in order to get into shape and to be fit. And you don't even have to make the sacrifices these people are making. <clears throat> you know, you only have to set aside, you know, an hour, maybe an hour a day, you know, to do it. In the beginning, only set aside a half hour a day, three times a week, you know. When I'm first uh, working with someone that, that's, uh, th th they're first starting an exercise program, like they've never exercised before, um, they've never been active, uh, I start them at, at a, a very, very slow pace, just so that they don't feel overwhelmed, and they feel like it's something that they can do and that they can commit to. Um, and... You know, I think I, um, you know, I'm going to, if I remember, I'm going to try to put in the link below. I did a video, again, this years ago when I first started my channel, I did a video called um, I, How to Stay Committed to Your Workouts. Um, and I don't remember if that's the title, but I'm going to put a link below. I'm going to try to remember to do that. Um, if you guys want to check out that video and I, and I talk about the things that you need to do. Um, if you want to stay committed to your um, exercise program, you know, the, the things that you need to do to help you um, and w or what will help you, you know. But anyway, guys, this is not easy for me. Um, it's very painful. It's very difficult. But I know if I don't push myself to start working out again, I will never get back to where I was. And my recovery will take so much longer. And once I, I get over that hump, which I, I, I feel like, you know, I'm like I'm at the, the, the tail end, like I'm, I'm, I'm almost past that hump, um, you know, because it, it is getting easier for me. Once I get past that hump and I can really, really stay committed where I'm doing it almost every day, um, then my recovery is going to skyrocket. But, you know, for me to gain the strength that I gained, you know, <laughs> while I was sick, again, it's really bizarre and I wasn't expecting that. Um, I don't know, maybe it was um, the fact that I had rested for several days, um, but again, I was sick, I wasn't taking in hardly any calories, you know, usually I when, when I go back to exercising after being that sick, I'm weaker, I'm not stronger, so again, it was very strange to me, I mean, exciting and encouraging, but strange that I had gained that much strength, so... All right, guys, so um, I do want to, you know, um, continue to document my progress and how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, um, and at some point, you know, maybe I will try to film some of it, um, but because I'm in such a small space, it's really hard to get a, a good camera angle, you know, where you can see what I'm doing, um, again, because it's just so small in here. When, when my house, when our house is done being built, Hopefully by the end of the year, um, we'll see. But when my house is done being built, um, you know, then I'll, I'll be able to, I'll have more room where I can document this. Um, but again, because it's such a small space, it's just, it's really hard for me to find a good angle for you guys to see what I'm doing. But all right, guys. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you, let you know how, it go, how it's going for me. Because I, you know, I said that I wanted to start uploading more frequently. Um, and if anything interesting happens in girl world, you know, like, uh, you know, anything unusual or, or crazy, like the whole Kaya Simmons things, I, I probably will do a commentary on it. Um, you know, so, cause there's always stuff happening in girl world. There's always some drama, whether it's with Amber, Booty, Beauty, Booty, Beauty, um, members of, uh, Hater Nation or the community, what have you. Um, there's always some type of drama going on, so... 
Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for um, tuning in. I always appreciate your time and attention. Remember, take care of yourself. Protect yourself physically and emotionally. And don't forget, your health is your most valuable asset. Invest in it. Bye-bye.